guys, welcome back. This week, I'm going to show you how to do this stroke effect. Now, I swear to God, I feel like I've had a Mandela effect kind of deja vu because I know clearly I made this tutorial. I've done it in the past because it's one of my favorite to do. It's, I love using this simple hack, but for some reason, I look through my tutorial list and I can't see it. Now, if anyone else can see it and let me know which one I'm referring to, that'd be brilliant. But honestly, I've gone through it, I don't know, probably a dozen times and I can't see this tutorial. And I swear, I remember editing it. I remember doing it. I remember referring back to it. But all of a sudden, it's poof, it's gone and you can't find it anywhere. But the effect I'm referring to is this stroke effect. Now... It's a write-on, write-off effect, but you can use it for images. And the only reason I'm referring back to it or even thought of it was because last week I did a tutorial on the Video Copilot Sabre plugin, which you really should have downloaded by now. But I'm going to show you how to make this write-on effect. And it's really simple and really handy. And the main thing is it's built into After Effects, so you can use it any way you want. So let's get started. Start by creating a new comp, 1920 by 1080p again for HD and 25 frames per second. Don't worry about the background, but I'm keeping black and then hit OK. From there, I'm going to use a text tool and type in, let's type writing. Writing, OK, perfect. I'm just going to change the font to more of a handwriting one. Let's try and find one. Come on, there's got to be one. Here we go. There we go. I'm just going to center it as well. And I'm going to increase it slightly so it covers. Perfect. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, this is the most time consuming part of it. So you grab the pen tool and start drawing a mask around each line to if I haven't mentioned this before to create a curve if you hold down and drag out with the mouse you can create a curve but if you don't create a curve and say I do a straight line here I can go back into it this sounds probably better and if you hold command or control on the keyboard you can do one side and create a curve and then you can also add a point in by going halfway down. And again, you can change the curve however you want. It doesn't have to be precise. It just has to somewhat follow the shape of the text. So let's... Now that I've done the W as a mask, I don't want it to connect to the letter R. So what the way around that I found is if you hit V on the keyboard or choose this selection tool here, click off and that's your first mask done and click off and that's your first mask done then again it's G on the keyboard for the pen tool and again start the next mask now one thing here to note is draw the mask how you'd want someone to write the text on so say you wanted the person to write the word and then come back and dot the I's and cross the T's last you do the word letters first completing the word and then go back and then do then dot the R's and cross the T's. So I'm actually going to use this mask here, finish it off, hit V on the keyboard, hit G and I'm going to then do this last bit here. Now one thing, I haven't done this bit here so I'm going to hit G on the keyboard Click on this mask and then add a point in here and I'm going to move it up here and move this down here. And then again, hold command and bring the mask out. Perfect. Final thing to do is the I's and the T's. So G on the keyboard. And dot the I's and cross the T's. Final one. Perfect, let's zoom up. 
Now we have all that, in your mask settings, you can see it all set out, but we're not actually going to do anything here. So if I close that, in the effects and presets panel, type in stroke. See, I'm sure I did this tutorial. If anyone can remember watching this, please let me know because I feel like I'm just repeating myself. There's a lot of stuff here. Now, first thing we're gonna do is it lets you choose one mask, but as we have six, I'm going to select all masks. I'm going to change the color from white to red. Now this will all make sense, but essentially I can't really see what I'm doing over my white font because the white color of this effect covers it. Does that make sense? It'll make sense now. I'm going to increase the brush size here so it covers all the, t all the white text here. So I think 26. If I turn this mask toggle effect off, I can kind of see, it'll, it'll let me see the text properly. And yes, that's covered it, perfect. Put it back on. Essentially, this is the effect you need to write on and write off text. Now that's really good, but it's revealing the image, but you can still see the red brush effect. Now to change this and get the effect that we actually want, if you go down to paint style and click on reveal original image, boom. It'll sh disappear the brush effect, but the text is still there. Don't worry, don't worry, I got you. Make sure your playhead's right at the beginning. Click on the stopwatch for end and change 100 down to zero. Just like that, it's gone. If I take off the mask, there's nothing there. If we go to one second, maybe, yeah, one second's fine, and increase the zero to 100%, you can see it automatically start writing in for you. Let me trim my comp size. So, perfect. So if I hit play, how easy is that? Now, there's one thing I just want to do. If you click on the text effect and hit U on the keyboard, um, it'll bring up the keyframes for you. If you highlight the keyframes, right click, go to keyframing assistant and easy ease. Essentially, it just makes the writing look more smoother. And hit play, and there you go. How simple was that? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. It is really simple to do once you know where the functions are. And I swear to God, I have done this before. So please, if you could point out the video that I'm referring to, not the one where I've got a, a few After Effects tips built into one, the, a dedicated video to this, tutorial please let me know i have done it i swear i kind of just made it up that i've done this video so please if you could help me out that'd be awesome anyway guys i'm here every week so hit the like button hit the subscribe button ding that notification bell so you don't miss a video and as always stay inspired